driving a taxi cab around London can be boring. And Terry's been doing it for 24 years. It's just the monotony of it, really. The traffic, a lot of time sitting behind this wheel, just looking out this, this windscreen. But Terry has now made this job his life's passion. And it's all because of the way he looks at the world. His view of London through his windscreen is now his viewfinder as he searches for photographs worth taking. I'm constantly on the lookout. If I've got a passenger, I'm going to have to come back. I think I probably miss a lot of work and a lot of fares, to be honest, because I tend to be looking up and I should be looking along the street. We joined Terry as he spotted a likely picture. In fact, I think I've seen a shot there, actually. With no paying passenger on board, the meter was turned off, the taxi parked up, and the right gear carried onto Waterloo Bridge to try to capture what he saw from the cab. Yeah, I think that really works. I'm interested in the shard. I like the way it's been sandwiched. You've got triangles, you've got squares. I really like that sort of geometric composition. Terry's now taken thousands of pictures of London, so here are his four favourites. This was taken in Borough Market, and I particularly like the energy. You've got a dust cart and you've got a lady rushing through the scene. This one was taken in Camden Passage in Islington, um, guy sitting outside the shop. This is Battersea Power Station, early morning, and uh, there'd been a fog and it had just lifted, it had just burnt off. This one is Thames Barrier. I love the way it sort of disappears into nothing. And this picture has been included in an exhibition featuring the best landscape photographers. It seems this cabbie is going places. He's worryingly good because he sees things that we won't see. And also he knows London, which nobody knows London as well as a, as a London cabbie. Terry's ambition is to become famous enough to be able to quit the cab ranks. But until then, it makes for an interesting conversation with many a passenger. I would think, oh, how do you take that? I've got my camera equipment in my boot and I jump out. I think you should keep on doing that. And Terry certainly will, because every trip could mean another picture. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.